Hey Harley Riders, thanks for joining DK Custom Products for another video on our channel. My name is Kevin, the K in DK Custom Products, and today we're going to talk about what can be done with an M8-114 to increase the amount of power and just do an overall enhance one's riding experience. This video is about my 2019 M8-114. It's in a tri-glide, but everything that we're going to talk about still holds true for any of the two-wheel bikes. Alrighty, we're going to look at a chart first because the proof is in the pudding. And people can say whatever they want to say, but let's look at what actually is reality. And let's look at this chart right here. So when we're looking at this chart, we're seeing that this tri-glide had 101 horsepower and 124 foot-pounds of torque. And you can see how flat that line is starting at the 2500 mark. It's at 117 foot-pounds of torque at 2500 RPM. And then uh, because this is a low mid-range, uh, cam that's in here it peaks out at 124 at 3500 rpm you notice how flat and strong that uh, torque curve is and so it just makes it a lot of fun to ride there's plenty of power if i'm in sixth gear doing 70 and i need to pass somebody who's maybe doing 75 but driving erratically, I can speed up from 70 to 90 miles an hour without downshifting very quickly with the kind of power you see in this chart. Now you guys, with two wheel bikes, you might go oh, 124 foot pounds, that's not all that much. But remember, this is on a trike. That belt from the uh, transmission is going to a differential on the trike and then it's turning a lot more weight than on a two wheel bike with a lot more rolling resistance from two car tires on the back of that trike. So you can look at probably getting five to 10% more power with the same configuration on a two wheel bike. Not getting too far off track, but for those of you who've been watching uh, very many of our videos, you know that we don't generally do anything beyond a true or full stage one upgrade. But this particular trike has a stage two upgrade on it and I want to explain why and that is because uh, a, st a good stage one provides more than enough power for me. I'm completely happy with the amount of power that an M8-114 puts out with a great stage one but I had um, a little bit of a sumping issue. I had the old oil pump, not the latest oil pump that Harley put out. And so I wanted to upgrade my oil pump and take care of any issue that I was starting to have with sumping. And so while I was in there, I went ahead and put a cam in there. And so that is why this bike, unlike most of the bikes you see us talking about, uh, has a stage two upgrade. So we're going to get into how to go about doing a stage one and a stage two to get the most bang for your buck and to make sure that it gives the most power possible and lasts the longest possible. So even though on most of our bikes we only do a stage one upgrade, we have many, many customers who do stage two, three, and four upgrades and it's the same ideal situation for each one of those, whether it's stage one, stage two, stage three, stage four, and that is to have a good foundation in place before you do a stage two, three, or four. And what is a good foundation? A good foundation is a great stage one upgrade. And we've done a couple videos on that. We're gonna put one of them up in the corner, and it's the foundation video. We've also put a link to it in the description below. Again, it is a video on building a good foundation for your bike so that it will run strong 
and last as long as possible. And if you choose to do a two, three, or four upgrade, that you already have the foundation in place to get the most out of your stage two, three, or four upgrade. If you've enjoyed this video or found it useful, please give it a thumbs up. Please share it with your friends. I think they'll be surprised how much power you can get out of a 114 Generation 1 Milwaukee 8 on a Tri-Glide. Uh, hit that notification bell so you know when the next video comes out. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please consider doing that. It helps us out a lot and it doesn't cost you anything. If you have any questions about the different parts that are on uh, the Tri-Glide, uh, don't hesitate to email us at support at dkcustomproducts.com or give us a call at 662-252-8828. You all ride safe out there. <music>